read the book. I made that mistake my first <laughs> my first audio book. I did not read the book before I did the job because I had done a lot of voice uh, commercial voiceover work and you just show up and they give you the copy and you read it. And I was like, oh, it's like, we'll be similar. And I showed up and I went, like the first 10 pages was like 10 characters. And, and I was like, oh my God, I am not ready for this at all. I did not prepare, I, got, I, had, like, I had nothing. Um, so that was a massive slap in the face. The fact that I was asked to do it again is extraordinary. Obviously you don't wanna be late, that's first. But more importantly, you don't wanna lose the sense of collaboration when you're in the studio. It's really important to listen to feedback of your performance because it's the only way you're going to improve as an actor. First of all, actors should not wear certain things in the recording studio. The mics we use are extremely sensitive and they pick up any kind of body movement. I think that pacing is really critical for an audio book. We don't want to go too fast. When we talk to each other, sometimes we just speak quickly. But when reading an audio book, you need to take your time. It's not a race. And make sure we are hearing every single word.